This is Uncut with Adam Savington at the Country Cat in Portland, Oregon. I come from a Midwest background, hospitality is king. My heartland background plays into my cooking because the feeling of comfort, the bringing together of family, all of that translates into the food and to the experience of Country Cat. When people come into the Country Cat, it's all about coming home. An experience that brings the heartland into the Pacific Northwest. What I'm making today is a milk braised pork shoulder stroganoff with chanterelle mushroom, butternut squash noodle, and thyme brown butter sauce. This dish is such a home run because it's that dish that people will come back for because they don't necessarily want to do that at home. The cut of pork that I'm using for this dish is the pork shoulder. It has beautiful marbling and is great for braising and it works very, very well with milk. What I do with this pork shoulder is I take it and I cut it into the portions that I'm gonna need and then I salt and pepper it and I let it sit for two hours or up to a day. At that point, I take butter and melt it down to the real frothy stage. I add the pork to the foamy butter. I want it to begin to start to sear. After it gets that beautiful caramelization, then I flip it over, caramelize the other side of it, and then I put it on a parchment lined sheet tray with a rack and I just let it set. After that, I keep all the fond in the pan. I keep all the butter in the pan. I add crushed garlic cloves, then I add the sage, the lemon zest, cinnamon sticks, star anise, bay leaf, chili flake, finish with salt and pepper to taste. And then I just vigorously kind of move it around in the pan. After I have the base going, that's when I add the milk and I crank the heat and I scrape any fawn that I can get off the bottom of the pan. As the milk is beginning to come up to a simmer, add the lemon juice and the vanilla and stir it in. When you add the lemon juice to the milk, it's gonna break the milk, but don't worry about it because you're gonna be bringing it back together with the Vita Prep blender at the end. Put the pork shoulder pieces in a four inch half hotel pan. Douse all of that braising liquid over the top of the pork shoulder. Wrap it in foil, stick it in the oven, 350 convection, and let it roll. After about an hour and a half when you pull the foil off, that's when you wanna check the smaller pieces of pork and see if it's fork tender. Fork tender is the most important aspect of this. You don't wanna overcook it. About an hour and a half is about all you need. Pull the pork out of the pan. I put it on a parchment lined sheet tray in a rack. I take the braising liquid and I put it through a fine mesh strainer and then I reserve three cups for the end of the dish. At that point, I add a pork demi-gloss to that braising liquid. I add it cold, blend it at a medium high speed so it gets nice and emulsified. Now I'm moving on to the vegetables. The spiralized butternut squash noodles. I put a tablespoon of salt on it. I get the butter in the pan browning. Then I add the pearl onions and I get them caramelized on the flesh side. I add a half a cup of water and I cover it because I want it to be able to break itself down. I add the chanterelle mushrooms, fresh thyme, lemon zest, and at that point, here comes the brandy. I do a nice deglaze on there, bring that all the way down. You cook it until it begins to release its liquid. That's when I add the butternut squash noodles to that pan. You look in that pan, you see those butternut squash noodles that are opening themselves up. That's when I add the braising liquid and begin to have everything be coated and come together. Put a big dollop of sour cream in there, stir it all together. It's something that you won't forget. So when you're picking up the dish, you want to make sure to take the braised pork and put it into a pan with the reserved braising liquid. Put it over a medium high heat and begin to base that piece of pork so it starts to cling and it begins to reduce down and nappe over the top of the pork. Once I have all the braised vegetables and the noodles onto the plate, that's when I take the pork shoulder and I put it right in the center and I take some of the reserved liquid and pour it over the top of the dish itself. So what do I want to drink with this dish? I want to drink a Pinot Noir. You know, I want to drink something that's earthy, that's got spice, that's got a little acidity. Something that's really going to complement those fall flavors and Pinot Noir is the one for me. This dish, the impression that it evokes 100% is seasonality. It's a very comforting dish. It's one that people, when they walk into the restaurant, they can smell all of the incredible aromatics. And it's one that people like to come back for.